As you just saw, 16-year-old varsity wrestler Andrew Johnson was forced to cut his hair or forfeit his match. Now the community is speaking out. CBS 3's Kimberly Davis is live in Buna, New Jersey with more on an emergency meeting. Kimberly? Jessica, emotions ran high this evening, and the community did not it. mince words when Thanks. it came to discussing how they felt about what happened last Wednesday evening. Now, the family was not present for this evening's meeting, but the attorney was. He says he's still trying to figure out why this situation happened in the first place, and so far, no one seems to have an answer. We have viewed the video footage that has gone viral and are deeply troubled by the embarrassment and humiliation that our young student athlete endured. It's the cell phone video that shocked the nation. A 16 year old Andrew Johnson stood before a crowded gymnasium as his dreadlocks were cut. It was an ultimatum by the referee either cut the locks or forfeit the match. The blame here is on the referee. Wednesday night, the Buna Regional Board of Education held an emergency meeting to discuss what happened last Wednesday. The family's attorney spoke on the Johnson family's behalf. I would also question whether there was other administrators um, there at that gym who did not do what Mr. Maxwell did and at least plead with the ref to have him not conduct it in that manner. And when it came to the public comment, the community didn't hold back. And I couldn't believe that this pig would humiliate that kid on the mat. This young man will never, ever forget the physical and mental toll that he took that night. He will never forget it. As a mother raising children in this community, it broke my heart. It didn't matter if he was black, white, green, or purple. Many came from all across South Jersey for the emergency meeting, like Rachel Green. She and others are hoping there's procedures in place so this situation doesn't happen again. You had to have an ugly situation like this happen for them to address this. It speaks to something tells me this isn't the first time something ugly like this has happened, that people just thought this was okay. The attorney tells us the family is in support of the coaching staff as well as the trainer who cut Andrew's locks. Now, there is a wrestling meet for tomorrow, but Andrew will not be participating, though he will continue to wrestle. This investigation is ongoing, and the district says they will not be participating in any meet that Alan Maloney is scheduled to referee. For now, we are live in Buna, New Jersey. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you.